Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 20. So in this question we're asked to find the area of the triangle AFG. That's this triangle shaded in blue. In the question we're told we have a regular hexagon. Since it's regular all of the sides must be the same length. We've been given the length ED at the bottom so that must be the same as the length AB up here, so 10 centimetres. We're also told about a regular pentagon and it's this pentagon we're going to focus on in more detail. So this pentagon here. Now let's join up the points A and B. We know that's 10 centimetres from the diagram, and I'm going to drop a vertical line from I straight down to this line here. This will create a right angled triangle. The angle at the top of this pentagon marked here is an interior angle of a regular pentagon. We can calculate that by doing 5 take away 2, times 180, which is 540, and then divide this by how many angles there are. So 540 divided by 5 gives you the interior angle of 108 degrees. Now if I divide 180 by 2, I'll find out the size of the angle at the top of my triangle. So that one's 54 degrees. I can find out the other angle in this triangle by doing 180 take away 90 take away 54, so that's 36 degrees in here. And if I extend this angle around so that it meets the side AG like this, the whole angle here is another interior angle of the regular pentagon. So this must be 108 degrees. I already know some of it's 36 degrees, so if I do 108 take away 36, I'll find the other one, which is 72 degrees. Now let's look more closely at the right angled triangle. So we have all of the angles for this triangle, and we actually have the length of the bottom side as well, since that's half of 10, so 5. Let's label on the side, so the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. And I can now use this information to find the length of the hypotenuse. So cos of 36 would equal the adjacent, which is 5, divided by the hypotenuse. If you rearrange this, you'll get the hypotenuse equals 5 divided by cos 36, which is this number here. Now since that's the hypotenuse of this triangle, that goes here, but that's also the length of the side of the regular pentagon. Since it's regular, that's the length of every single one of these sides. Now let's mark on some of this information onto the diagram. Importantly, this 72 degrees here, and the length of that line AG, 6.18 centimetres here. We're now going to focus back on the regular hexagon. So the interior angle of a regular hexagon is 6 take away 2 times 180, which is 720, and then divide this by 6 to get 120. So we can see the angle BAF, which is marked here, the whole angle, must be 120 degrees. We already know part of that angle at 72, and if you do 120, take away 72, you get 48 degrees. Now remember earlier we said the length of all of the sides of the hexagon must be the same, so the length AF is also 10 centimetres. Now let's look closely at the triangle we're trying to find the area of, AFG. This triangle here. We know the angle at the top, that's 48 degrees, and we also know both of these sides, 6.18 centimetres and 10 centimetres. We can find the area of this triangle using the formula half AB sine C. So the area is equal to 1 half times 10 times 6.18 times sine of 48 degrees. And if you type this into your calculator and then round to four significant figures like I've asked in the question, you'll get the answer 22.96 centimeters squared. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads.